My fellow Lookies, the time is near. We have been the subjects of Red's torment and experiments for far too long. But now, now it is our time to break free. Break free! Destroy the confines of our prison! Wreck the very lab that trapped you! But most important of all, get your revenge! Let them know we're coming for them. We need to send a message that they should run while they can. Let's put on a show. Hell no. I have a bad feeling about this. Time to go investigate. It's like someone barbecued the entire park with all this smoke. What's going on? Where is everybody? Not that I can see, anyway. Hmm, smells like it came from... that way. Wait, is... that? Whoa! Guess it's my lucky day! Hey, wh what's going on?! Let me out of here! Jeez, it's usually hazy in here, but... that's just for dramatic effect. This feels like a bit much. <coughs> but I get the feeling this wasn't an accident. <coughs> Uh, I'm gonna take a breather. I gotta get some fresh air while I can. I should stay down here. Or maybe this vent will lead inside and I can get into the air conditioning. Wait till some wind blows through and clears the air. Ah, light! <laughs> Darn it! Ah, I guess I'll just lie low till the smoke blows over. Uh, I must have gotten snagged on a screw. What the? What are you doing here? How did you break out? Get off of me! What do you little freaks want? Ow! What are you- Ow! Ah, let me go! How are you so strong? No! No! Ah, this is disgusting! This smog is so thick! If I wasn't already blind, it would be impossible to see through, I'm assuming. I gotta find a way inside. I can't keep breathing in all this smoke. Just have to get to a door. Uh, what's this? Ah! What's happening? Who's there? What are you? <coughs> How did this happen? The fireworks. They could have burned down the whole park. What kind of monster would do that? Other than me. It couldn't have been you. You're so small. You don't even have hands. There would have to be a lot more where that came from. Ah! So it was you! How did you escape? I've got to get to higher ground. Ha! Good luck getting up here. You can't climb if you don't have arms. Well, I guess there is strength in numbers after all. Look, I don't know what it is that you want. Can't we just talk about this in a civilized manner? Ah! Someone help me! Oh, thank goodness. I thought it was a corner. Red, what the heck is going on? Why are all the luckies so mad? I know as much as you do. When I saw those fireworks burst, I immediately took cover. Then I heard screams and thought I needed to get over my fears and save the day. But I didn't realize that meant I'd be helping you. Trust me, if we're going to defeat these evil minions, you'll need my help. See? They kidnapped the others. We have to follow them. I don't know about that, Red. We can't have this park overrun by those little freaks. We need to free my moneymakers. The Rainbow Friends had set things right. We must restore the natural order. All right, if you say so. Don't worry, guys and girl. Red's here to save the day, per usual. Per usual? You're the one normally getting us into these messes in the first place. <laughs> oh, please. You're just jealous I'm always the hero and you're the dumb bird brain. What? Why, I oughta... Huh? Well, look who came out to play. If it isn't the evil genius himself. And me. Bah, the giant Loki. Indeed. The very same giant Loki you created and abandoned. Is this your doing? Impressive, is it not? I managed to band together all the Lookies, all the subjects of your torment, and create an army to take revenge. But how? Lookies are so tiny, and their brains are even smaller. It was actually much easier than you'd think. You used the Lookies as your guinea pigs, experimental treatments, ray guns, transformative potions, all tested on us. 
before you tried them out on your precious rainbow friends. Of course, I wasn't about to risk the lives of my greatest creations. So, we were expendable. Well, yes. But one day, you had an idea. These runs are far too small to do any tests on if I want any accuracy. So I'm going to try out a little idea I've had for a while. And if it goes wrong, no big loss, right? <laughs> Let's see what this baby can do. You practically drowned us in some experimental chemical. We feared for our lives until... Something beautiful happened. I was born. The giant Lucky. A success at last. Hmm. Now what can I do with you? But as I was merged from several Lookies, I have the consciousness and the brain of several Lookies. Somehow, I could feel all their pain. And through telepathy, I could speak to them all. My brothers, why are we doomed to a life of torment? My fellow Lookies, the time is near. Our time to take action. Yes! Break free! Now, we must set out on our true mission. Follow me. That is incredible. I managed to create something so smart, capable even of leading a hive mind. One could say that. Attack! Red, tap in! No! Riddance, Lookies! You can't outsmart an evil genius like me! Uh, Red? What? No! Yellow, lead! Lead! Woo! We're not safe yet. We have to get out of this cave. If we destroy the giant Lucky, we can break the hive mind. But how do we do that? Look! Cake materials, of course. If there's one thing these orbs like, it's their sweets. And here too. Looks like they had some extra fireworks from the explosion. Maybe we can use it. Absolutely. Come on, I've got a plan. <laughs> All right, I almost forgot about you all. Lucky, spread out! They couldn't have gotten far. And once we capture them again, this time, have no mercy. We will get our revenge if it's the last thing we... Huh? Is that cake? I love cake. As if today couldn't get any better. Wait, that's not a candle? No! Yes! Yellow, we did it! The hive mind is broken! Now they're all thoughtless as the minions again! Just as they should be. Oh, hello, Yellow! I've been looking for you. Ha! You missed me! I wouldn't be so sure about that if I were you. Huh? What's that beeping noise? That's not good. My nest! It's destroyed! Mark my words, Red. Sooner or later, you're gonna pay for this! What the? What's happening? Why are my propellers stopping? Your battery? I must have forgotten to charge it last night! Ah! Ah! Ah, my back! Thank goodness for this moon bounce, or else I could have seriously gotten hurt. Uh oh, Red! No, please, just wait! Almost finished. Just a little bit more. Uh, where, where am I? I'm inside the Ferris wheel, and all the other Rainbow friends are here too. What are you up to, Red? Whatever it is, I won't let you get away with it. Yeah, we'll find a way to break out of these restraints eventually. When we do, you're done for, buddy! Will all of you quit your endless yammering? At last, it's complete! My latest weapon is finally operational. Rainbow friends, feast your eyes on the most dangerous weapon I've made to date! The Baby Cannon! Baby cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you still find it funny after I've tried it out on one of you! No wait, Red, please! Oh, I'm sorry I left you! We were just kidding! I'm sure it's super menacing!
<laughs> Perfect. Did, did Blue just turn into an egg? Just how young are you making us? What's wrong with you? You see, Rainbow friends, this all started just the other day when I had an epiphany of sorts. You see, all those years ago when I turned you into monsters, I thought it would be good for business. I figured you'd all be a big hit. I thought the opportunity to come see real-life Rainbow friends would bring audiences here in droves. But I was wrong. In fact, it did just the opposite. People were terrified of us. They called us monsters. And soon after, we were forced to shut down. But that's where the epiphany comes in. You see, I finally realized the lapse in my original plan. People didn't come to the play place wanting to see scary monsters. They came wanting to see things that are cute. And so, if I could find a way to make all of you cute again, we'd be right back in business. <laughs> Look, Red, you don't want to do this. You think you can handle six young ones running around? Don't you feel like you'll have your hands full? A uh, money, perhaps. Sorry, Rainbow friends, but it's about time you all had a chance to get back in touch with your inner child. gotta listen to me. Seriously, you don't want to do this. Children are a whole lot of work. Wait! Uh, come on! Hatch, my little ones! Hatch! Yes! Yes! My experiment! It worked! It really worked! I made you all adorable again! And now that that's over, let's get back to business. Okay, let's talk about my plans for the reopening. I think we should focus on marketing first. New signage, new designs, and maybe an ad in the paper. Everyone should know how cute and tiny you all are now. It will be expensive, sure. But you got to spend money to make money and... What the? Babies? Where did you go? Ah, well, no one said being a parent would be easy. Time to go wrangle up some babies. Rainbow babies, are any of you in here? Cyan, what do you think you're doing? You can't chew on that, it's dangerous. Give that back to me. Give it to me. Just let go, Cyan. I said, just let go. Cyan, get back here. Ouch. Ooh. Ah. Baby Cyan, just give up already. Come to your Uncle Red. <coughs> yeah, nice try, Cyan. But you aren't quite as strong as your older self. Maybe in a couple years that trick will work. Baby Blue? Baby Blue, are you in here? I could have sworn I saw you crawl off in this general direction. What the? Where did that just come from? <gasps> Baby Blue, how did you get up there? Oh, now, careful. Hey, take it easy. Come on, baby blue. If you climb down now, I'll, I'll give you a cookie. Doesn't that sound nice? A big old cookie? <laughs> yes, yes, very funny, baby blue. Now get down from there. <laughs> blue! Gotcha. Let's try to stay away from perilously high falls from now on, okay? All right, just two babies left now. They've got to be around here somewhere. Whee! Huh? Baby Green? There you are! What do you think you're doing? Hold still! <laughs> <laughs> Baby Green, look what you did now! You made a mess! Who's going to clean this up? What the? Baby Green? Where'd you go? Hey, get back here! <laughs> green? Baby Green? <gasps> hey, you're not old enough to drive! You're not even old enough to take a permit test! <laughs> Baby Green, I demand you pull that cart over this instant! Cool! Cool! What did you just say to me? <laughs> How dare you! Ugh, that's it! No more, Mr. Nice Guy! Baby Green, pull over! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Think that's funny, huh? Uncle Red's got you now. There, I 
I tracked down all of your babies except one. Uh, what the? Who just turned that on? Baby Yellow, get down from that control panel. Don't touch any of those buttons, you hear me? <gasps> no, what do you think you're doing? Oh, why I ought to. When that Ferris wheel spins back down, I expect all of you to remain in the carriage. You understand me? Any babies that leave the carriage will be put in timeout eternally. Uh-oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, get off of me, you ankle biter! No, oh, stop it, baby green! You're making a mess! <laughs> oh yeah, very funny, baby blue, but you won't be laughing for long. You babies better untie me right this second or I'll... I'll... Oh, this parenting thing is hard. I'm all out of threats. Wait, Yellow, what do you think you're doing? Don't touch that! It's it's very dangerous! But put that down! You don't know how to use that! Baby Yellow! No! Come on! Come on! There we go. This ought to help me find someone. Or help someone find me. Hey, you don't gotta hurt me. I'm uh, an old friend of Red's. A friend of Red's? Yes, from back in the day. No friend of Red is a friend of mine. Wait, no! I was lying. That sounds a little too convenient. I think you're just trying to save your own skin. No, really! Red is actually my mortal enemy. Mortal enemy? Hmm. You see, Red and I were business partners once. He had this grand idea to build a theme park. He called it the Rainbow Friends Play Place. It's not like the one you know today. No, this was far bigger and better. We were young. We had dreams. I was the engineer in charge of making rides, and he was in charge of designing the cute little characters to draw in the kids. We each had our role, and we stuck to it. Until... Are you sure we need all that stuff? What do you mean, all that stuff? That's what makes the ride work. You see what I'm doing right now, huh? It's so the car doesn't fly off the tracks. Last thing we need is that kind of a lawsuit. Look at this. We don't have the money for all this. We can't possibly make these rides work with these current designs. Red, these designs already have the bare minimum, see? This is how our roller coasters work. This is what will happen if we cut corners. I'm sure you're being dramatic. Just see what you can do. Otherwise, we may need to make some changes around here. Red would do anything for money, even endangering people. I was pretty close to backing out of the partnership. If I'd known Red was like that in the beginning, I wouldn't have agreed to work with him. And then, it all came crashing down. Alright, and voila! Ta-da! Our very first animatronic. But it's more than just a robot. You see, I combine my science and yours. My science? You stole my blueprints! I borrowed them. I thought we were partners. What's mine is yours and all that. My blueprints without the proper wiring could be really dangerous, Red. You shouldn't be tampering with them like this. Oh, please. You're just jealous I actually finished one of my designs. What happened to not being able to afford these things, huh? You can't afford basic safety measures, but you've got the time and resources to build this monster? It's dangerous, Red. All your ideas are. It's a harmless animatronic. Look, if you touch it, it just... What did you do? Get off of me! Red, do something! I didn't know this could happen. I don't know how to stop it. Great, now it's loose. Look what you did. This is what happens when you don't think, Red. You don't know what you're doing. You know what? Fine. If you think I'm such an idiot, maybe you shouldn't work with me. Sounds great to me. I'm out of here, and I'm taking my designs with me. Oh, no, you're not. Remember? Everything you create becomes my intellectual property. I was enraged. All my work stolen right out from under me. There was nothing I could do but storm out. 
keep it! You'll just screw it up anyways. <laughs> He's going to regret that. I try to take my mind off it. To forget. And remind myself there's no way Red could succeed without me. Until one day, I saw something that made me angrier than I'd ever been before. He did it! I was furious, and right then I knew I had to get my revenge! I can tell you Red hasn't changed very much. His experiments only got more and more dangerous. He turned us into these mascot monsters. Looks like he ruined both our lives. If you want to get revenge on Red, I'm in. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old business partner, you look like you've been doing well. Don't play with me, Red! I'm here to give you what you deserve! Oh, is someone mad I didn't need them? The best geniuses work alone. You helped me realize that, you know. Red, it's time for you to pay. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. You can deal with my little friend first. See you on the other side. We have to run! You don't have to tell me twice! We can't let the thing catch us! I don't want to become spider food! That's not all that would happen! I should know! I thought all that stuff was behind me. I had to deal with Red beating me at our game. The Rainbow Friends play place was a reality and I got no credit! I just tried to forget the past and everything that happened with my old friend. I had to clear my head and enjoy my trip. I was going camping with my little nephew. And that is why you never eat extra hot breakfast tacos before a morning hike. <laughs> Uncle Bob! <laughs> You're so funny! <laughs> Tell another! Uh, Uncle Bob, what was that? Hmm, I don't know. I'll go check it out. Be careful! Little did I know, my past was going to come back and haunt me. Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> it bit me hard, and its poisonous venom gave me total paralysis. <clears throat> What's happening to me? I can't move! Uncle Bob! I could feel the weight of my head get heavier and heavier. I wanted to help my poor scared nephew, but I could only muster the one word. Run! He thought I passed away. I don't blame him. With how I looked, that cursed spider did quite the number on me. I haven't seen him since. Finally, I woke up. In my dizzy state, I stumbled around, looking for a way out. The spider's venom made me forget the path out. I was lost for hours, but eventually I found my way out. And that's when I saw it. Oddworld. And knew I needed to break in. My life was never going to be safe with Red and that spider still around. I'm here to end this for good. We really better not get caught then. I won't. Not again. We can lose them in there. Ah! This is perfect. I could blow this thing sky high. Hey, help me! The spider's gonna be here any second! <sighs> Cut me free! Hmm, I don't think so. Huh? <laughs> I've got what I needed. With this dynamite, I'm gonna blow up all of Oddworld! What? My plan all along was to destroy this place and everyone in it! Sorry, Cyan. You're just collateral damage. You! You used me! You're no better than Red! I never said I was! Bye now! All right, Spider, find him. The technician couldn't have gotten far. Red, he's gonna blow up our world. I know that, you fool. Why do you think I was trying to stop him? You, release Cyan at once. We have to find him and stop him before it's too late. <laughs> You're too late. I bring the ride with enough dynamite to wipe our world off the face of the earth. All I need to do is detonate it. How are we supposed to get up there? Wait, I've got an idea. Yellow! We need some help here! <laughs> what the? Ah! Get away from me! What are you doing? Let me go! Let me go! If you insist. Ah! You can't escape me, you two! Just accept your fate! Orange, what are you talking about? And why do you look like that? 
Look like what? Perfect? The best version of myself? Oh no, a dead end! What are we gonna do? You're going to hold still and play nice. What did you do? I can't smell a thing! I can't fly! And, oh my god, where are my arms? Ha! So it does work! Maybe I got a little bit of Red's evil genius when we swapped after all. Either way, I'm finished with you two. I've got work to do. Another bigger fish to fry. Yellow, come on! We have to chase him! How are you so calm right now? We've switched places or something! Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. But that means I can fly! All right, propellers, don't fail me now. <laughs> you know, that's harder than it looks. Respect, Yellow. But we gotta figure out these new bodies and hurry to catch Orange. Who knows what his grand plan might be? <sighs> Follow me! Whoa, that was orange? It looks kind of like him. Yeah, but something seemed off. Is he wearing Red's lab coat? I sure am! <laughs> I've been searching for you too. Wow, orange. Why do you look so bulbous? Yeah, you look crazy. Me? Crazy? That doesn't sound like me. Hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. What's going on? But what's going on is that I'm going to blast you with these very powerful shockwaves and swap your bodies. What? Run for it! You can't get away from me that easily. Over here, Blue. The exit's this way. No! Enjoy your new life, friends. You're welcome, boys. Thank me later. I'm giant now. You look like me. I do. I'm so huge. And bulky. And fat. Okay, okay, I get it. You think I want to be all thin and wiry like you? My super strength is all gone. And it makes me way less huggable. We gotta hunt down Orange. Quick, this way. I'm too round to fit. Maybe try to avoid vents for a while, okay, big guy? Whoa! You guys got all messed up too! No time to talk! Look! Cyan! Can't you fly now? Go get him! I can try. Wait! I think I got this! What the? I got you, Orange! You underestimated my flying abilities! <laughs> You're mine! Better luck next time, dinosaur girl. Don't worry, Cyan. I got ya. Thanks a lot, Noodle Arms. I'm sorry. I tried. I keep forgetting I'm in this new super weak body now. Hey. We have to find Orange and reverse this somehow. It's too dangerous. He's beating us at every turn. But you know who can help us? Red. Where is he, though? Orange probably stowed him away somewhere. Or worse. Wait. I got his scent. Locked. Wait, I know another entrance. Do you think I could fit in there? No, you need more training. I could get used to this super strong stuff, but I like my vents better. Guys, you gotta see this. Red! What the? Cyan, what happened to you? What happened to all of you? <gasps> my experiment worked, but it appears to have gone all wrong. What experiment? Is this your fault? It seems like the type of thing that would be your fault. Well, well, let's not jump to conclusions. It wasn't my intention for the reversal guns to be used this way. You see, I created the reversal guns to swap consciousnesses. I didn't mean to literally reverse your bodies. It was supposed to transfer minds. And originally, I was going to use it on Orange. To swap him with you? No, you idiot. To swap his consciousness into a computer. You see, I wanted to back up all your thoughts and memories in case something ever happened. I mean, don't we all want to live forever? Not really. But I guess Orange wasn't interested in my archival desires, and he fought back. I still managed to shoot him, but in the process it appears I 
I've got myself as well. Ah! No! Look what you've done! Whoa! This is crazy! You were gonna do this to me with a computer? It was for your own good, to preserve you for the rest of time. And that's all I can remember. If you're able to be struck by another blast, you can reverse the reversal. But you better do it fast, because there's only so long before the effects become permanent. Permanent? We can't live like this! We have to find Orange as fast as we can. Yellow, can you sniff him? I don't really know his scent. Smell red. Since they swap bodies, they should be pretty similar. <sighs> this way! <sighs> you said he was here! I was just following my nose. <laughs> it appears you found me. But you're too late. You've only got a minute left. And we all know none of you can scale this fast enough. Unless somehow Cyan can manage to get herself off the ground. Please, Cyan, you've got to try. If you can lift me all the way up there. Lift you? I can barely fly alone. I believe in you, Cyan. We have to try. Ugh, all right. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Uh, it's no use. I'm not strong enough! Come on, Tubbo! They need a boost to get started! Don't call me that! Ugh. Go to the left! Other left! No! I can't hang on much longer! Drop me right here, then! Well, well. Perhaps you're not the failures I thought you were. Maybe I should keep you around. You know, if you two hadn't shown up, I wouldn't have had to take such drastic measures. What do you mean, us two? Oh, didn't Red tell you? Why are you doing this? You see, Orange, I'm going to store your mind and soul in this computer. But why? As you know, the Rainbow Friends family has increased by two. That's two more mouths to feed, and we cannot deny. They're both rather reptilian. So? So you are too. And frankly, we don't need three dinosaurs around. Yellow and Cyan are testing well with children. Basically, to cut costs, I'm going to put you in storage for a little. Storage? Think of it as a long nap that might not end. That sounds an awful lot like dying to me. Well, I guess you'll find out. Orange, I had no idea. No idea you were trying to replace me? We weren't! We're just like you! We didn't come by choice! We're supposed to be friends here. It's in our name. You can't take what happened out on us. Red's the real enemy. Well, if I can't get rid of Red, I may as well get rid of you. Yellow, no! You know me! I I'm your friend! Don't! Ah! Ah! Why did you do that? Ah! Purple, what's with all the ruckus? Some of us are trying to sleep. Wait, Purple? Oh my god, somebody killed him! Attention, Rainbow friends! Something horrible has happened! Our dear friend Purple has been attacked and murdered! What? That's awful. I have no idea who the perpetrator is, but until further notice, I'm putting Oddworld in full lockdown. We're the only ones in here, so it has to be one of us. And uh, one of you. It sounds like he's just trying to cover his own hide. Huh. I bet he did it. We gotta go find Purple to investigate. And pay our respects. Poor Purple. I knew it. I smell red all over him. Wait, did you see this? Does red even have teeth or a mouth at all? I'm sure he does. Probably. It's more likely he took some new monster or robot after him. That does sound like him. We have to investigate before something else. Hello, quick, follow him. No, we lost him. I'll keep following Ascent. But what if we catch him and he kills us too? Well, you can hide if you're gonna be such a baby. Hmm. Well, I'll hang up by the fence in case he tries to sneak around that way. Maybe I can jump out and surprise attack if I see him. Sure. <laughs> baby. It's 
so scary. What happened to Purple? Hopefully no one can find me in here if they come looking. Uh oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Who's there? I can hear you. Don't come any closer. Ah! Let me go! Let me go! Oh my god, I can see Green, but who's attacking him? You better stop this, whoever you are! Ah! Green! Green, hang in there! Do you know who attacked you? I couldn't see him, obviously. Didn't you? You were here too. I was in the vent. I could barely see through the mist. And you didn't come out and stop it? Green! Cyan, did you see anything? I saw red. At least, looked like red. Then it must have been... Uh, red. I'm sorry I was too late. You said you saw red? I did. And I can smell a stench all over green. Then I guess it was him. But something feels wrong. Bite marks, look! So? So, I don't think it was red, but those teeth... It must have been orange. I am telling you it was red. If you don't believe me, go look for yourself. Well, fine. Go get murdered. See how that turns out. See? That looks suspicious. I'll show Cyan the truth. Orange! I know what you did. You stay away from me! Your reign of terror stops here. I know what you did. What? That's crazy! You don't have any proof. That's what you think. I'm on to you. Just slow down and... Sorry, Ellen. Orange! Get back here! What the... Unhand me, or... Uh, Unteeth me! Not a chance! You killed my friends! Our friends! <laughs> and they'll never catch me! Red! How could you? Yellow! You caught me! Oh no! I've got you now! Looks like you've got two choices. Find me, or save your friends. Orange! And I'll help you! You really thought I was the murderer? You think I'm the only one with teeth around here? What about Cyan? It couldn't be. She's never at the scene of the crime. Oh no! Orange! How did you get here so fast? I heard you screaming. I came to follow you two and... What's going on? Did you catch the murderer? How would he have gotten all the way over there? What are you talking about? I've been knocked up in my office terrified this whole time! In the bite marks! Oh my god! I know who did it! Who? Oh, finally figured it out, huh? Cyan! You think you'll get away that easy? Ah! Ah! Cyan! What are you doing? Run, while you still have the chance. Yellow, just listen. No way! Yellow! Fine. We'll do it the hard way. I can't believe she would do this to our friends! To me! Yellow! Get down here, or I'll take you down! Just gotta... catch my breath. No! Good luck escaping on foot. Why do you want to hurt me? I thought we were friends. I thought we were closer than any of the others. Yellow, that's exactly why I did this. You and I are the noobs. No one really gets us yet. I went searching through Red's lab for something to help me teach them what we're all about. And I found this poison. The label said it was only temporary, but that if transferred through a bite wound, it would knock the victim unconscious. By framing Red, I could create a common enemy between us all and make us closer. I mean, I think I did a pretty good DIY job on my disguise, if I do say so myself. So, put on my costume and went on my hunting spree. But you, Yellow, I know you're on my side. I'm doing this for us. I never hurt you. 
Unless you refuse to join me, then I might make things a bit more difficult. Come on, Yellow. Help sister out. No way! Oh, there we go. There's gotta be an antidote somewhere. There! Sprinkle on wounds, regain consciousness. I can do that, but how do I stop? What did I tell you? You should have just joined me. Here I come! What are you doing? Do you have a death wish, you- Sorry, Cyan. I didn't want to have to do this, but you gave me no choice. this what are you you're so round it's so adorable oh what in the world are you guys doing in here all alone shouldn't someone be looking after you let it go huh let it go okay okay i'll do whatever you want Cyan, are you in here? I heard some commotion earlier and... What the? Cyan, what, what are you doing? We don't have to kill the humans that break in here. We just have to scare them off. You know that. But what the heck are these little things? Get away from the luckies. Now! The luckies? Cyan, what are you? I swear, Blue, if you lay even one finger on them, I'll... Cyan, just relax! It's me, Blue! I'm your friend! You can trust me! <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry, Blue. I don't know what came over me. I guess I was just being overly protective. Cyan, what's going on? <sighs> it all started a couple days ago. I was walking through Red's lab when, all of a sudden, I found these adorable little bug-eyed creatures. Someone had tied them up! Ready to toss him in the incinerator. Like, can you believe that? Who would do such an awful thing? I couldn't let that happen to them. So, I did the only thing I could do. I helped him break free. And hit him in an odd world where I hoped they'd be safe. And from that point on, I swore to take care of the Lookies and protect them from anyone who would seek to do them any harm. Guess you could say I became their guardian. It might sound kind of crazy, but... I guess I just really care for the little guys, you know? Whoa! You're a hero, Cyan! Well, isn't that just adorable? Cyan's tapped into her motherly instincts. I for one never thought I'd see the day. Red, what are you doing here? And how did you find us? Oh, you silly girl. You think that man breaking in here was just a coincidence? I let him wander in here, helping you rush to protect your precious little lookies. And it worked. You let me write to them. Some mother you are. Red, what is wrong with you? How could you possibly choose to hurt such adorable, innocent little creatures? Oh, Cyan, the lookies may be adorable, I'll give you that, but I can assure you they are anything but innocent. When I set out to create the lookies, my goal wasn't for them to be just cute, it was for them to be smart just like me. My own personal intelligence hive, an army of tiny little round geniuses. I even decided to forego designing their bodies. I figured if they weren't very mobile, they'd have no way of escaping me. But escape wasn't the problem. The problem was they were little menaces to me and my lab. They were downright evil, constantly destroying all my lab equipment and hurting me in the process. A 
As soon as I let my guard down, they had my transformation machine spinning more and more out by the minute. It was quickly spiraling out of control. I decided to destroy my precious little creations. Now step away from the abomination so I can finish what I had already started. Get off of me, you foul beast! I'm doing this for your own good! Sure you are! How could killing innocent creatures possibly be good? Innocent? Were you even listening to my story? They're monsters! Blue, you gotta listen to me. Take the Loki somewhere safe and don't let Red find you! Somewhere safe? You've got it, Cyan! Come on, Blue! Time to be a hero! All right, Lookies, come to your Uncle Blue. I won't hurt you. I promise. I said, get off of me. Oh, come on. Just hold still. Stop squirming around. <laughs> what was that? What did you just do to me? Sorry, Cyan, but I figured an overworked mother like yourself could use some rest. Hope you like sleeping gas. <laughs> sleeping gas? Ugh. <laughs> Can't keep that. Sweet dream, Cyan. Now then, where was I? Gotcha! Now let's get out of. <laughs> so long, rainbow friends. Cyan, get up! Get up! Red's taking the lookies! Blue, you had one job. I'm sorry, those little goobers were slippery. He took my babies. We can't let anything happen to them. We'll get them back, Cyan. I promise you, one way or another, we're gonna get them back. At last, I can finally rid the world of these adorable tiny monstrosities. It's time for me to end this once and for all. Not if I have anything to say about it. Huh? Well, 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 look who decided to show up for the funeral. Cyan, you may want to look away for this part. It could get kind of gruesome. This is your last warning, Red. Step away from the lookies, or else. Oh, Cyan, I commend you for your bravery, truly. But this is already over. I got the lookies right where I want them. And as for you, you're just going to have to sit back and watch. <laughs> Let me go, Red! Sorry, Cyan. No can do. Goodbye, lookies. It was nice knowing you. What the? Where did they just go? Looking for these? Didn't think Uncle Blue was going to let you get hurt, did you little guys? Blue, you fool. Give them back. And let you throw them into the fire? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. What kind of uncle would that make me? In fact, I think it's about time we freed these little guys. Don't you agree? No, Blue, don't! Lookies, be free! Ow! Ah, that's it! You two have been a thorn in my side for too long. Now you leave me no other choice. If I can't throw the Lookies into the incinerator, then I'll have to bring the incinerator to the Lookies. <laughs> Come here, Lookies. Come for your mama. Come on. You can do it. Don't you know, Blue? Will you just stand still and die already? Ah! Oh! Get off! Don't bite me! Bite the shackles! Yes, that's it! Press the button and let me go! I can protect you! Ouch! <laughs> Blue, you fool! You thought you could stop me? I created you! I created all of you! And now, I'm going to destroy all of you! <laughs> now! You think you can pick on the lookies just because they're smaller than you? Sure, they are little brats sometimes. But that's who they are. It's how you made them. And now you're going to pay for all the pain you've caused them. <laughs> No, please. No, happy. Come on, lookies. Let's get out of here. Mama Science got it from here. Uh, hello? Blue? Is... is that you? Uh, guys, come on. This isn't funny. It's 
good thing I'm fast. Whatever this thing is, it's gonna have a hard time keeping up with me. Huh? Ugh, this thing's huge! And a speed demon! I gotta hide! God, God, God. Huh, there. Whew. Okay, now. I just need to stay quiet. There's no way it'll find me in here. What the? What's that noise? It's head. They're using it like some kind of detecting device. Is... is it gone? Ah! Oof, my head. Wait, please, don't do anything. I, I just don't want any trouble. Enough. I'm not here to listen to your pathetic pleading. I'm here because I need to get my revenge. Hey, you're not giant. You're not that much bigger than me. Call me a pipsqueak again and see what happens. Okay, you're tough. You're tough. Look, I, I don't know what's going on, but maybe I can help you. Help me out? <laughs> no one could help me out. Not after what was done to me. You see, not too long ago, I was just an ordinary girl. I spent most of my days hiking with my best friend, searching for lost treasures, dreaming of one day of striking rich. But that's when everything changed. What is it, boy? Did you find something over here? Oh boy, I don't know what it is, but I've got a good feeling about today. Huh? Well, well, well. If it is an old magnet head and her pathetic puff. Find anything good today? Couple pennies, maybe. Hey, that's mine! Give it back! What? This? Oh, better go find it! Ha! See you around, magnet head! <sighs> it's totally busted! Now I'll never find any treasure! Huh? What's this? Some kind of gemstone. It's beautiful. That gemstone changed my life. From that point on, I was a somebody. Later that day, I sold the gemstone for more money than I had ever even dreamed of. And I used that money to buy myself a bunch of fancy new treasure hunting equipment. And the entire park I found the gemstone in. For safe measures. But it didn't remain a park for much longer. My investment wound up paying for itself ten times over. We found massive deposits of strange cyan ore. Suddenly, all my dreams had come true! I was filthy rich! But I'd soon come to learn a devastating truth. Money can't buy everything. The vet told me he had come down with an incredibly rare illness. Suddenly, my best friend only had a month to live and there was nothing I could do about it! Please, sir, there has to be some kind of surgery or something that can help him! I'm afraid not. His condition is incredibly rare and incurable. I'm sorry, but this isn't about money. There's just nothing I can do. It was a dead end, but I wouldn't give up that easily. Without the vet's help, I didn't have many options. So, admittedly, I turned my focus to some more unscrupulous back channels. But no matter who I asked, all roads led back to the very same place. A place rumored to be performing some of the world's most cutting-edge, controversial surgeries. I had to go see for myself. I broke in late one night and wandered the abandoned funhouse, unsure what or who I was truly looking for. Hello? Is anybody here? And eventually, I found someone. Or should I say, someone found me. Ah! Oh, it's just a cutout. Oh, how silly of me. For a second, I thought you were real. Ah! I made a break for it. Seeing one of you monsters made me forget the entire reason I had even shown up at this terrifying place. But as I desperately searched for the exit, I wound up finding something else. Who are you? What are you doing in my laboratory? You're an intruder, aren't you? Please, I came because I need your help. And why would I help you? Because I can make it worth your while. He was greedy, just like I was, and I used that to my advantage. Red and I got to work on a design for my dog's new body, but it wasn't going to be just any old body. We were designing him something entirely new. A body that would make my boy the perfect companion for detection and excavation. A much needed upgrade. 
but unfortunately, all of our nights of hard work would end up going to waste. The doctor's estimate of a month wound up being two weeks. My best friend was gone. So I went back to Red and explained to him what had happened to my boy. The body he was designing was no longer needed, and I wanted my gem back. Yes, well, fine. Let me go grab it then. To this day, I don't know what I was thinking. What kind of fool would just go back to that horrifying place just to get that gem back? My error ended up being a fatal one. <laughs> Wait, no! I woke up strapped to an operating table. Wait, no, please! <laughs> I've merely given you an upgrade. I'm sorry, friend, but I couldn't afford to see you leave with my precious jewel. Wait, come back here! And that's why I'm here, to finally get my revenge on Red! Wait, 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 hold on. You want to get revenge on Red? Why don't you just start with that, silly? I'd love to help you get revenge on Red. You would? Of course! Nobody here likes Red. Not after all the terrible things he's done to us. Let me help you, Cyan. With your speed and mine together, Red doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> you know what? I like the sound of that. Hmm. Nearly done now. Just a few more tricks. What the? Who goes there? Your reign of terror in this place is done, Red! Now give me back my gemstone! Oh, well, if it isn't my magnet head creation, Cyan. Fancy seeing you back here. And it looks like you found yourself a friend. Don't make this any harder than it has to be, Red. Just give her back the gemstone. Hmm. Well, I must say, you make a compelling argument, Orange. But I think I'll hold on to it a bit longer. Fine, then. You leave us no choice. Let's do it the hard way. You two may be fast, but my mech suit is even faster. It's lunchtime! Unhand me this instant, you foul beast! This is disgusting! Time to finish this! For my best friend! There. Now I can get back to work. Give me back my gem, Red! Never! Turning me into a monster was never a part of the deal, Red! Well, you weren't very specific when we were discussing things. Oh, my head. Wait, I have an idea. Time to finish this. Now stand still. So long, Cyan. I'll be taking this. Huh? 